Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. We are here in, uh, in Osaka. Today's gonna be a great day. We're going on a little half day trip to a place called Nara. I'm actually really excited because there's deer. Yeah, you get to like feed deer and like they're like really friendly. It's like, it's gonna be kind of cool, I think. But right now, we're waiting for Justin. We're waiting for my friend Justin. He's horrible with directions. Like he lives, his hotel is literally a block and he's, he's lost getting yeah, he's here. He has GPS. He's the only one with, with data on his phone. He has, he has data. GPS. It, we so... told him exactly where to meet us and he's late. But we're near Namba Station. So if you're coming to Osaka, I think this is a great area to stay in. Namba. Namba is the name of the area. And also, I really like our hostel. I feel like you guys should stay at where we stayed. Osaka yeah, we'll, guest house fun. We'll put a link in the description and uh, <laughs> let's <laughs> we gotta take a subway, it's about an hour, so we'll see you there. Okay, wait, 1040. Let's see how long it takes for Justin to come. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been like I don't know, at least 10 or 15 minutes waiting for him. He's a block away. He's lost. I gotta hear the excuse. I gotta hear it. He's standing right in front of the building. It's been over 25 minutes. Oh, where'd he go? I really tried, I did. But that subway station is fucking huge. Yeah, but we and buddy, I showed you a map. Dude. Did you I gave you a map of this what? place. Did you take the subway? Of course. You took the subway here. Yeah. Your apartment, your hotel's like a block away. What? Very close here. What? You didn't need to take the subway. I thought I had to take the subway to Namba Station. You are That's... at Namba Station. That's what I did the other day too, the, to get my, uh, my my wallet back. I went and then I got lost after for four hours. <laughs> oh my God! You didn't. Even, it was. I picked this location because it's right by your hotel. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I really like. I, I gave it my all. I did. I have Google Maps running. I asked two people in there. Where the Hibs building, whatever the fuck this place is. Oh my! I told them I need to go feed the donkeys, so I, like, you know. <laughs> the donkeys. Are you filming or something? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> They're like absolutely everywhere. And they're completely docile. You go right up to them and you feed them little crackers and they'll take it out of your hands. <laughs> I just stepped in deer poo. Here, look. I, I, didn't, I didn't smush though. I think I can get this off somehow. Here, I'll use a stick. So apparently, if what are they supposed to bow to you, or the, the deers bow to you when he, you he give them food? Me he bowed. Well, yeah. you gotta bow first, and then it bows. Oh, okay. Back. You gotta be respectful of them first. Of okay. Of course. Okay, I'm gonna try to see if it'll bow. If it bows, you gotta give it a cookie, though. Wait, 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 wait. Bow? Bow? There. Oh, bow! Did you get it? He bowed! <laughs> give him a treat! Bow? Oh, my shirt! Don't leave my shirt! He didn't my shirt! <laughs> so you can buy a pack of the deer cookies for 150 yen. And one thing you really have to look out for, and Justin learned the hard way, is that there's lots of deer poop here. I don't know if you could see like in the video, but there's sometimes like a layer of dust or some kind of pollen or something. It's coming from the from one of these trees and it's making me sneeze and I'm all stuffed up. But it's so cool. We're in, um, so it's called Nara Park and there's lots to do here. It's a really big area 
and we might go check out some of the temples later but for, definitely the highlight for me was coming to feed the deer so they're here and apparently they at the end of the day they'll go back up towards the forest and then they come during the day and they get fed I don't know mm -hmm. Wes just so, got some more so we got like it's like I would say about two dollars for this pack uh, we bought two um, a minute we're gonna carry one with us throughout the park because we don't know if the the deer are just right here or they everywhere or they are everywhere uh, but super cool you have to hide them though because as soon as they see you they chewed on my shirt it's yeah. all dirty we got like deer slobber as a souvenir <laughs> So we stepped into a touristy Japanese restaurant here. Prices are about 900 yen, 800 yen, which is like $10-ish. For a set meal. For a set meal with like everything, soup and miso soup and... I'm hungry. I feel like I'm always hungry. Guys, we found one of the fake food stores and you can buy everything and you assemble your own plates. It's pretty cool. So outside a lot of um, Japanese restaurants, they like showcase the food um, like made with like plastic like dishes. So you can get a visual of what it's going to look like, but it's like made of plastic. So here, oh, this is actually a store. Wait, this is not one of those stores. This is just where you buy, it's like that stuff, but it's like keychains and bracelets. Okay. Oh, it's okay. This place, in case you can buy necklaces with the food, but it's like, <laughs> It's a phone case. But it's like you can actually, there's actually stores where they sell like the kits to make the food, but here it's just like you buy little accessories. Oh, can I be in photo? Can I be in photo? No, 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 no. Oh, I will sign. So they have like, in Japan they have everything. Places, Japan's crazy, right? Oh, I gotta turn on focus here. And uh, so they have these owl cafes here. We're not gonna go in. We just she let us take a picture with Justin here. But like in Japan, there's so many different cafes, owl cafes, maid cafes, like where they like dress up as maids, like really, really cool stuff here. We're gonna see a bunch of them. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're in a phone booth, Japanese phone booth. They still have them here. And we're about to go back to Osaka. So Nara is like a really fun and easy and pretty cheap day trip to do from Kyoto yeah. or Osaka. It was like $5 on the subway uh, and I think we spent like $10 on the food. Yeah, we spent the same cracker. on food as we did on, on transit. But it was fun and the deer are like so calm and there's poop everywhere but that's fine. Some people like sitting with the deer, like petting them. Some yeah. of them were nice, some of them were crazy. I didn't like, like one of mine had like Bleeding, like, they, I don't know they, what they do to like. They chop the... off the, the horns if they're spiky. But they chop off the horns, but they still have a pretty good life. Like, it's better than being in the wild, I think. We think. We don't know. I don't know. But we only fed them the deer biscuit, so. Somewhere like feeding them maps. And, I don't know. <laughs> Just feed them the food, the deer food. Yeah. So that was a great day. Um, I think that's it. Next up will be... Kyoto. Oh yeah, Kyoto, Kyoto? yeah. I forgot. Okay, adios. It's busy itinerary in Japan. It is, we're, we're very busy. Thank adios. you for... Uh, adios. Go, go. Adios amigos. Thank you for watching. Arigato gojimasu. Arigato. Thank you.